Peterson Homestead. <laughs> um, it has been a week since I've done my last video and there's so much, so much growth that has happened because I did uh, fertilize the plants one more time um, and things look really great. So I'm going to show you guys what everything looks like and I did promise that I would come back and show you guys within the week what the um, what the no-till bed looks like right now with the seeds. Now I don't uh, have a hundred percent germination rate right now almost but so far almost everything that I planted like maybe 75 percent <laughs> uh, is growing the the one thing that I know it's gonna take a while because for some reason they just really do is my um, the bell peppers like bell peppers and and jalapenos usually for me they take forever to grow and it's either because I haven't figured out exactly how to plant them so I might just have to either really just start those from seeds like indoors um, and then transplant them or go to um, Pender Pines the nursery out here and go get the plants that have already been that are already growing and go from there although I, I like to see um, things I like to plant things and see them grow see all of my work grow from them themselves um, oh did he wet you he got you wet huh <laughs> it's okay look at this little fluffy butt <laughs> hold on you can't see her look at this fluffy butt right there <laughs> um okay so we are going to show you all of the growth that I have going on right now and maybe a little pregnancy update not very much to update except for I'm done being pregnant I'm done being pregnant go play Willow go play She's a funny dog. Yep. She's a funny dog, and we're trying to get her. Um, oh, let me move that. Let's see, her. we're trying to get her um, into some puppy training because right now she's a hot mess. Let me show you everything that's going on. Alright. So I got you guys up on the tripod right now. And Willow, no. And I want to show you guys all of this growth that we have going on right now. So beep. The cucumbers. I finally have a female cucumber there's like two of them that I've seen and it's not it's not open yet so the flower right here there's actually a hole in it though so because we I have been coming out here um, in the mornings and some of them like I've had to cut some of the, the plants off because it was literally like 
just like drooping, you know, like incredibly lifeless. So, and I, I didn't know what was going on. I had no idea what was going on. Um, so I finally, I came out and like I had to spread the flowers apart and I looked in and there was a caterpillar and my stuff. So I've lost a couple of the plants two caterpillars um, and so I've just been coming out every morning or when I can and just like looking through and kind of just getting the bugs off and everything like that so I was pretty excited about this this one right here until I looked inside and there was a caterpillar so I'm still going to let it grow I'm still going to let it you know like branch out and everything and then there's another one in here somewhere so I'm just I'm just not sure right now um so it's spreading and this is the little it's spreading out it's it's starting to the trellis along the my bad. It's starting to um, grow along the uh, this thing. <laughs> I forgot for a second what I what it was. Um, but yeah, it's 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 doing great. It's the leaves look big every time I come out I see any ounce of like like yellow butterflies or any type of like suspicious butterfly I'm like I got to get out here immediately and <laughs> come out and and um, shoo them off so that they don't get my food and though they don't lay their eggs what's wrong Let me take you around the bed and show you something that I am super excited about. Your dog is chewing on my tree. Why is she chewing on my tree? I don't. It's something I don't get dogs. I don't. I don't. I don't get them. Let me show you the most exciting part for me of gardening. Ta -da! What are those, guys? What are those? Those are my pumpkins. I am super excited. Do you see how big they've gotten? I am super excited about this right here. Because, as you all saw before, they were doing very well. So, the fact that they are, right now, is super amazing to me. And I'm so excited. I'm so happy that they're, they're doing good. They look great. They have, I do have aphids on the bottom of them. Um, but that's okay because I can just come out, take my hands, and just kind of, you know, Rub the bottom sides, see un underneath them, and get them away. If you're gardening and you want to know if you have aphids, um, aphids and ants work together. So if you have a plant and you you're like, why are all these ants around my plants? Look underneath. Um, you will have aphids because it's like something that the the aphids, they suck the, um, they literally suck the life out of your plants. And so, when you, the, uh, so when they're doing that, the ants are coming and they're getting all of the sap and whatever else, the nutrients that they can from what the aphids are 
living, living, uh, giving out. But yeah, I'm super excited about this because it's like I was struggling with them for a while and I didn't think that they were going to grow. One thing that's not really taking off right now are my nasturtiums. And I'm not really sure why. Um, they look like they're just, they are just struggling. So, I still have more seeds. So I'm probably going to plant some more nasturtiums in the corners of the beds and just let them go from there. And I also did plant chives in here as well. So I'm just trying to, I don't, you know, I've never grown, I've never grown chives before. So I'm, I'm just trying to keep an eye on, you know, on it and see, like, cause I have some stuff growing here in the bed next to the, let me see. I don't think you'll be able to see, but they're like, they're tiny. Cause they were like tiny seeds. Um, so, yeah, I'm super excited, super, super excited about my pumpkins, um, and the okra, oh my gosh, the okra is, is taking off as well. So I'm going to show you these, um, I will show you these uh, okras, and for some reason, the okra is kind of taking a, not a beating, but underneath the okra leaves are tons of aphids, and I know that from reading, like, all of my books, it says okra doesn't really have, like, a pest problem, so I'm not understanding why I have aphids under my okra and all around so um i'll show you how how those are doing because they're doing great too and i'm just i'm excited i think they're finally taking off and i shouldn't have i should have prepared the bed properly when i first got back instead of just immediately dropping things in there but you know that's the thing beautiful thing about gardening you like you live and you learn you know you grow things that you don't really know about and then yeah you know you it's a it's a learning process constantly learning in the garden and that's and that's pretty cool so and it's gonna be really exciting when when the um the cucumber just take over this whole spot and then I'm gonna have to get some more yarn to trailer for the pumpkins as well. When I'm talking about how the, it's, it's like half of it is covered, I'm just waiting for it to sprawl out so it can completely like just take over this whole entire side. That would be so cool. And if I had moved here earlier, um, before June, it probably would be. So it'll be exciting to see next, next growing season, how well they do, but um, they won't be growing in the same spot. I'll switch, switch the, um, rotate, rotate, <laughs> I'll rotate the crops. <laughs> but look at these okra. Look at the okra. Can you see? Can you see the okra right there? I need more trees to cover up the sounds in this backyard. <laughs> so the okra is doing really well. Um, let me see if I can get underneath it to show you guys how bad the aphids are under here. Because they are not fun. Not fun at all. Not sure if you could see that anyways let me see um this wasn't as too bad that one isn't that one isn't um oh here's a spot 
Let me show you. There's a spot over here with these aphids. <laughs> Whoop. Bear with me as I'm trying to get this together. <laughs> um, okay. Aphids. Can you see them? They're like little, they're like black, they're... I just had to cut this off so you could see. You see the aphids crawling all over them? There you go. See all the little green buggies, the dark green and everything like that. There you go. Those are aphids. And they are such a pretty leaf, right? They're literally like trying to destroy something that I enjoy eating. <laughs> we, en we enjoy eating these, so. Uh, I have to get the water hose and come out and just hose it off because that that is not cool to me and it's kind of creepy but so yeah so many and I don't know why um let me see my tomatoes were struggling for a while but I believe that they are trying to make a comeback <laughs> they're trying these little babies right here next to this uh, crystal they're trying so I've been Coming out here, checking them, because there was like a caterpillar that was trying to eat them, but I checked them this morning. So I checked them this morning and they were, they were fine. There weren't any bugs. And my boys. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. No till. Black eyed peas. So far, there's three of them that have sprouted. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six of the green beans. My um, zinnia in the corners. I don't know what's going on with this one right here. Uh, my zucchini squash. I'm waiting for the rest of them to pop up. And then my uh, winter summer squash right here. And then the bell peppers that I planted right here. Things are, something's growing. I don't think this is a bell pepper. <laughs> I think this is grass. Yep. So, there's that. But there's uh, finally the tomatoes that I planted are starting to grow. You look, you can see them right there. See those little babies? Them babies right there, baby tomatoes. Them baby tomatoes. So I just gotta keep coming out here and watering them. And for some reason, they were taking such a long time to grow. Um, actually, I'll take that back. I don't know if those are actually the tomatoes. Those actually might be the bell peppers. That makes sense because I think I did go up that far with the, to, uh, the bell peppers. So we'll see. Um, I'll have to go back and look at my video and see. But yes, I'm super excited. But yeah, I am. I'm super excited that you know things are doing well and they're they're taking off. You know, they're doing what they're doing what they're supposed to do, and that's so exciting to me. Um, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna get out here and water them 
it's not it's not super hot right now it's not it's past the heat of the day um but i am still gonna just water them and go from there and um i did plant flowers in the flower bed that i had been weeding out and there were flowers growing in there um and then i went in and got some more herbs I got lavender yesterday. Uh, what else was it? <laughs> lavender, sage, and it was one. Uh, anyways, um, yeah. So that is it for the gardening section of my my video. Um, I'm just really excited that things are growing. I can't wait for everything to like for me to get like a hundred percent um germination because that's that's going to be exciting um and then to be able to finally harvest some things so that's exciting too i can't wait um but most importantly um baby is doing great I had my last doctor's appointment not my last doctor's appointment but the um, yeah my doctor's appointment where I would go twice a week now it's down to once a week uh, starting next week and um, the doctor seems to think that you know we might have us in end of August baby <laughs> instead of you know September time so I mean I'm I'm happy about that because I'm ready to just like hold her you know hold my baby and and just just baby sniffs and, and things like that are just you just newborn babies you just smell them and they just smell so good and it just gives you such a good like a good a brain boost I guess you could say so I'm excited I can't wait to see her because the, we had um, last week I had my appointment with uh, maternal fetal medicine where they you know check on a baby and you know check the heart and kidney functions and things like that and she, she just her pictures I got of her were just so cute and I'm just like oh my god I can't wait so that is have some exciting things going on the kids are getting ready to start school soon although I'm not very excited about sending them back to school I would much rather continue homeschooling them um, but I think I'm, everybody's probably going to be overwhelmed um, if I were to homeschool them and try to deal with a new baby. Um, it would, I, they would be neglected, you know, and not, not because I couldn't do it, but a newborn, you know, they need a, a lot and I don't want to neglect my, my other babies. So, although I don't want to send them back to public school, and they're kind of reluctant to go back to public school, but they're also very happy to go back to public school, just because, you know, they get, they still have friends here except for Axel, because he was born here and he's only six, so, um, but Anaya and Magnus, you know, they're, they still have friends out here they just have to get connected with them so yeah yeah well you know we'll see we will see I know they're you know it did it did I don't know I just I, I just have my doubts about you know public school it, it's different when you 
when you take your kids out of public school and you become their teacher yourself and then you guys talk about certain things and you learn the truth about certain things it's like so this is this is what why wasn't I learned or taught this in school like they're so like it's just you can't compare the two you know you just absolutely cannot but <coughs> okay rant over I'm done um next week we'll be back next week another garden update puppy update baby update house update school update <laughs> uh, we'll be back hey can you go get the actual nozzle thing that goes on top of the sprinkler thanks bud um yep good we're good. School and ready to have this baby. But I thank you for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And excuse me, I'm sure. Oh, getting sleepy. Hope you have a wonderful day. Um, hope you do something for yourself that uh, makes you happy or do something for someone else that still makes people happy um yeah we'll see you guys in the next video bye